Alfred alikuwa our host. Alafu yeye na mke wake wakatunulia shirt. Mimi na the team leaders. Sasa last wakati nimekuja hapa last month ameniambia hajawahi kumbuka na hajawahi associate kwa sababu kutoka hiyo mwaka wa 96 hata akiwa na wrong trousers ambaya at least shirt inakuanga smart miaka kutoka 96 aliangali siku hiyo ndio alikugundua kumbe ni kwa sababu alitoa a shirt aka bless a man of god i don't know whether that bishop is around we shall look for him after this somebody yuko pale hebu tuone kama shirt iko sawa <laughs> unaona hata shirt bado iko sawa mpaka wa leo somebody say amen because he gave and uh, also i gave and i was blessed nika ni ni hapo niliachia kunywa maji ya mbalidi mpaka wa leo kwa sababu sauti yangu ilienda yote nikaacha we nani anajua kukonga ile wimbo consort ile kali ya kikarejini na sasa ile ingine mulikata chips wanakuwa ameingia sasa tukiingia msitukate mpaka tuwakate Ebu ya practice nisikie mimi napimanga kwanza Tusimame tusimame tuimbe pamoja kongo igongo Jehova Kongo igongo igongo Jehova Wewe ndio unajua ile kali mimi sijui weka ile kali ile tutaimba baka tujae hii kiwanja baka ni sweat sija tusweat hapa kwani kuna baridi gas Somebody shout hallelujah Let's go After that keep Pastor on, Alex will on. lead us to prayer and we keep on praying in Jesus name Tumpikie Yesu makofi makofi na vigelegele kwa Yesu Igarara no cheso igarara no baba 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 Oh, 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 oh,
We give you praise. We give you glory. Somebody lift up your voice and tell God. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you adoration. We honor your name. You are exalted. You are almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yesu makovi umwambie ni mshindi yeye ni asante apokee utukufu na heshima tumpokee uh, pastor alex atuingize kwa maombi na tuendelee kwa maombesi katika lisaa hili welcome amen tunaweza pigia askofu wetu makofi mazuri makofi ya yesu katika jina la yesu Amen. Nimejaribu kujifunza uh, ruga ya hapa. Chamge pick tabomet. Chamge pick tabomet. Iberuren Jesu. Iberuren Jesu. Kiptayan Jesu. Susimame tupigie huyo Jesu makofi mazuri. Tumuite Bwana wa mabwana. Tumuite mfalme wa mfalme. Tumuite shuja, muite majina yake, muite shuja wa mashuja, mufalme wa falme, mwanakodo ambaye ameketi kwenye kiti cha enzi, simba wa yuda, simba wa bomet, yeye ndiye mtawala wa milele. We worship you Jesus, you are the king of kings, you are the lord of lords, you are the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, the balm of Gilead. Emmanuel, we bless your name. We glorify the lamb on the throne. We enthrone you today. Tunakuenzi bomet. Tunakuenzi bomet. Tawala Yesu. Tawala Yesu. Tawala Yesu. Tawala Yesu. Tawala nyumba zetu. Tawala county yetu. Tawala inchi yetu. We bless you, Lord. We glorify you, Jesus. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Endelea tu kusimama. Tumeingia kwa maombi na tushukuru Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Na hii maombi ni movement. Haiwezi isha na hii mkutano. Lengo letu ni hii maombi tukishtoka hapa wewe ukwe the movement. So niabirie mwenzako maombi haitaisha Kenya. Inaanza leo na inaendelea in Jesus name. Si tumeambiwa kwamba when you receive a prophet, you receive a prophet's reward. Receiving a prophet is receiving what the prophet is saying. Siku msalimia tu, ni kuchika kile amesema na unakiendeleza. So today, leo ni siku kubwa sana babu mate. Mambo itabadilika katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Ombilile tunaomba ya kwanza ni kutangaza utawala wa damu ya Yesu. Kule misri, kuna wakati kulikuwa na kifo sana. Na najua hapa bomet, kifo sio kigeni sana. Na kubuka kuna wakati ni, kuna governor nilikuwa napenda sana. Alikuwa naitua la boso. Huyo governor mimi nilikuwa tu na Lakini kifo ikatebea bomet. Na la boso wetu wakatuacha. Sini kweli? So this is a very important meeting. Hii si mkutano ya mchezo. Hii ni mkutano ya kutoa kifo ya kuleta maendeleo katika bomet katika nyumba zetu na Kenya mzima in Jesus name 
Abia mwenzako leo kifo bye bye. Amwambie tu vizuri. Si ndio wachungaji? Si tulipoteza Kones, si tulipongeza alikuwa anatoa kipo la ngata ama alikuwa anatoa nani? Kipkalia, Kones na mwingine baadaye before that one. Tumepoteza eh la Salat. Eh isi mchezo. This is a new beginning for Bomet in Jesus name. Viongozi wetu hawatakufa tena. Tumepoteza principles wakati wa COVID. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Sirianza hapa. Eh. Yeah. Kwa hivyo hapa kuna kitu kinakufa leo in Jesus name. Na tunajua Musa aliabiwa na Mungu kwamba ile kifo inaua wa Israeli. Inaua wa Israeli itafika mwisho na haitafika kwenu. Kuna damu mtachukua. Abia mwenzako damu ya Yesu. Mwambie tena damu ya Yesu. E, si tunaishi Bomet. Hii ndio nyumba yetu. Hii hii ndio nyumba yetu. Musa akaambiwa kwa hiyo nyumba yako kuna kitu uta introduce na ni damu ya Yesu. Na wakati damu ya Yesu iliingia, kifo alikuwa alikuwa absent kwa nyumba yote ilikuwa na damu ya Yesu. Si useme leo tunaweka damu ya Yesu kila mahali bomet damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu kwa uwaja huu damu ya Yesu kwa nyumba zetu damu ya Yesu tutangaze hiyo damu damu ya ushindi damu ya msalaba iliyoshinda kifo na mauti tunaita hiyo damu leo damu ya Yesu iharibu I damu zingine zote iharibu any covenant ambayo si ya Yesu tunaiharibu leo katika jina la Yesu kila kiapo ambacho si cha Yesu kinaangamia leo in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus si utangaza hiyo damu tangaza hiyo damu tangaza damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu iongee damu ya Yesu pekee itawale bomet damu zingine zinyamaze damu zingine zikwende damu ya Yesu we declare the blood of the lamb the blood of Jesus the power of the cross in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we cover bomet by the blood of Jesus we cover this meeting by the blood of Jesus we cover our leaders by the blood of Jesus we cover every principal every school by the blood of Jesus we declare no more death after this meeting in the name of Jesus 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 hiyo damu ikiingia kwako uko salama hiyo damu ikiingia kwako kwako nyumbani hebu karibisha damu ya Yesu kwako sema na karibisha damu ya Yesu ndani ya nyumba yangu ndani ya nyumba yangu na karibisha damu ya Yesu mimi sitakuwa wa damu nyingine mimi nitakuwa wa damu ya Yesu damu zingine ninawakana hadharani damu zingine za kodo za buzi za ngombe za wanadamu ninawakata ninawakata hadharani mchana hamuna uwezo katika nyumba yangu damu ya Yesu tawara damu ya Yesu ongea ongea kwa doa yangu ongea kwa watoto wangu wewe pekee damu ya Yesu ongea kwa kaunti yangu damu ya Yesu damu iliyoshida kifo ikashida mauti damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu in Jesus name amen ukaribisha damu ya Yesu mambo itakuwa salama katika jina la Yesu farao hakuamini Si useme farao wa Bomet ameshindwa na damu ya Yesu. Farao yeyote Bomet ameshindwa leo na damu ya Yesu. Si utangaze farao yeyote, yani Mungu yote mwingine, damu ya Yesu inamushinda leo in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
walipoona Musa akipaka damu hata hawakumzuia walidhani ni mchezo tu majeshi wa Misri walikuwa hapo damu ikipakwa wakasema hawa wa Israeli wako na upuzi gani lakini asubuhi abia mwenzako asubuhi inafika asubuhi inafika na damu inatupatia ushindi in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus tuseme tena damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu nakupenda ninakuinua juu ya damu zote ninakupenda damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu nitetee damu ya Yesu nipeleke mbele damu ya Yesu niinue damu ya Yesu nipiganie damu ya Yesu tangaza jina langu damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu ongoza bomet damu ya Yesu ongoza bomet damu ya Yesu ongoza bomet damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu amen wende usome hiyo habari exodus utafurahia walicheka tu kasema huto tu muisraeli tunaongea ti damu kodo kodo aha hakuna kodo hapo ni mfalme wa wafalme mubaji wa vitu vyote amen ombi la pili situmwambie ni asante kwa sababu ya damu yake tumwambie ni asante asante Yesu kama sio damu yako tungekuwa wapi tungekuwa wapi bometi ingekuwa wapi watoto wetu angekuwa wapi maisha yetu yangekuwa wapi kama sio wewe Yesu pale kalivali kama sio wewe kama sio wewe shetani agetumaliza tunasema ni asante ni asante ni asante ni asante kama sio wewe wakati corona ilikuja kama sio wewe Yesu kama sio wewe tungezikwa lakini ukatulinda ukatuficha ukatuhifadhi oh Yesu So we thank you. We thank you Jesus. We thank you Jesus. Siumwambie tu ni asante kama sio wewe jamii yangu ingekuwa wapi? Kama sio wewe, kama sio wewe na Kenya ingekuwa wapi? Kama sio wewe, kama sio wewe Bwana, wewe umetushikilia ni mkono wako, ni mkono wako sio kiongozi ni mkono wako ni mkono wako bwana asante 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 yesu nimekuja kukuambia ni asante hebu fikiria mambo yale yamekutendea hata kama humwabudu fikiria mambo yale yamekutendea amekuamsha amekupatia afya kuna mtu mmoja aliponywa na Yesu. Biblia inasema kwa walikuwa kumi, lakini mmoja akakuja akamwambia the man you healed has come to thank you the man you saved has come to thank you the man you raised has come to thank you si umwambie huyu ni yule ulisaidia watoto wake huyu ni yule huyu ni yule huyu ni yule mzee ulijengea nyumba huyu ni yule ulipatia ofisi huyu ni yule sio kwamba nilisahili ni wewe ulinichagua nimekuja kukuambia asante huyu ni yule alikuwa tenwek hospital alikuwa icu lakini yako kwa mkutano leo anasema asante 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 huyu ni yule alipatia kazi 
wengine walisoma kuniliko lakini hawana kazi mwenye ulipatia kazi amekuja kusema asante 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 si umwambie kitu fulani wengine hawakuolewa mimi nimeolewa nimekuja kusema asante asante huyu ni yule huyu the man you helped has come to say thank you the man you healed has come to say thank you the one you raised has come to say thank you the one you blessed has come to say thank you wewe ndio ulinifanyia jia mahali ya kuwa na jia thank you thank you thank you thank you si umwambie sisi ni wale wa Kenya ulisaidia nchi yao Rwanda ikaenda vita Uganda ikaenda vita South Africa kwa kuwa na changamoto sisi ni wa Kenya tumekuja kukwambia asante ni nani kama wewe kama sio mkono wako ulikuwa juu ya Kenya in 2007 in 2013 hatunge kuwepo bwana hatunge kuwepo sisi ni wa Kenya uliosaidia tumekuja kusema asante tumekuja kusema asante 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 Yesu ni wewe Yesu sio mwingine wewe ni Ebeneza wewe ndio umetuleta ubali huu kuanzia independence paka siku ya leo hakuna mwingine atajiringa kwamba alitupatia uhuru hapana ni wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu ni wewe Bwana umetuinulia nchi yetu umebariki Kenya katikati ya mataifa zote barabara nzuri nchi yenye milima nchi yenye mito nchi yenye ukulima nchi iliyo na ngombe nchi iliyo na ngamia nchi ya juu baba tunasema ni asante ni asante ni asante ni asante usisahau kumshukuru bwana kila wakati tumesema hii ni movement usiweke full stop after this meeting you continue saying thank you saying thank you jambo lingine ambao tutamwambia siku ya leo tumwambie bwana as an individual umwambie bwana mahali mimi kama mzee kama mama kama kijana nimeacha jia zako siku ya leo naomba msamaha naomba msamaha umenisaidia sana halafu nikakuacha halafu sikuombi halafu sikuabudu halafu nisitembei katika jia zako baba naomba msamaha si umuombe msamaha wako peke yako umwambie bwana umenisaidia sana umenisaidia sana na nikaenda kinyume na jia zako nikafanya mambo ambayo neno lako limekataa nikafanya mambo ambayo ni machafu mbele zako baba nisamehe siku ya leo siku ya leo ninarudi ninarudi kama mwana mpotevu ninarudi kwa baba nimetoka mbali bali jangwani sasa ninarudi ile jangwa nilijipeleka sasa ninarudi si umwambie unarudi unarudi leo leo ninarudi kwa jia zako leo nikiwa mwananchi wa Kenya ninarudi 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 I'm sorry Lord. I'm sorry Lord for every wrong I have done. Na nina turn around. I repent. I return to you. I return to you. Kama kiongozi wa family, sijaonyesha jamii yangu jia zako. Ninasema unisamehe. Unisamehe. Nikiwa baba sitapeleka watoto katika jia zako. Nikapeleka kwa utamaduni. Nisamehe. Nisamehe. Si unarudi. 
unarudi as an individual mwambie siku ya leo bwana itaandikika ni siku ile alex alirudi katika jia zako wale walirudi kwako si uliwasaidia si uliwasamehe si uliwabariki si uliwainua mimi naungana na wao ninarudi kwako ninarudi kwako naacha jia zote mbaya naacha jia zote mbaya ninaacha leo leo ninaacha leo ninarudi Ninarudi pamoja na nyumba yangu Joshua akasimama akasema mimi na nyumba yangu si useme unarudi na utaongoza nyumba yako kwa jia za Yesu kwa jia za Yesu ninarudi Bwana ninarudi Bwana situmwambie Bwana atusamehe kile tumefanya kama community ambayo sio chako baba tusamehe samehe community inayokaa bomet samehe 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 bwana samehe kile tumefanya kama wakaji wa bomet tumeita miugu ingine wakati wa shida tukakuacha wewe Yesu ni nini ilikuwa imetuingia kwamba tukakuacha tukaenda kwa milima tukaenda tukaenda kura kiapo ambacho sio chako tunarudi tunarudi Yesu tunasimama bomet tunarudi tunakana kila kiapo tunarudi kwako tunarudi kwako kumbe hatuwezi pata msaada kumbe wazee hawana msaada kumbe wamama hawana msaada kumbe viongozi hawana msaada Jesus we repent and we return to you we return to you we return to you kwa kila uovu tunarudi kwako bwana tunarudi tunarudi kwako kama taifa tumwambie tukiwa Kenya tunarudi kwako tunarudi kwako tunarudi kwako kule tumepinga ijiri tunarudi sasa tunarudi kwa ijiri ijiri ya ukweli kule tulipinga kanisa sasa tunarudi sasa tunarudi kumbe wale wanaheshimu kanisa unawaheshimu unawabariki unawainua tunarudi 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 kwa jia zako tunarudi kwa neno lako we repent oh god we repent oh god we repent oh god we repent huyu mungu wetu ni mwaminifu ukimuomba msamaha anakusamehe hapo hapo na anaanza kukufanyia mambo makubwa si usalimie mwenzako mwambie mimi nimerudi mimi mke wangu na watoto wote tumerudi naongea kwa niaba yao tumerudi kwa Yesu tumerudi 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 hatuwezi kaa mbali na Mungu tunarudi tunarudi jambo lile lingine tunaombea siku ya leo tunaombea kanisa la Yesu hebu sema kanisa la Yesu Tunamwambia Bwana atumie kanisa lake kuliko hapo mbeleni. Alitumie kanisa lake na wewe ni mmoja wa hiyo kanisa. Situmuite Bwana, tumwambie kubuka kanisa yako. Amusha kanisa yako. Tumesoma katika maandiko kwamba kanisa yako ilifufua watu wamekufa, ikaponya wagonjwa. Watu waliona shida balibali wakasaidiwa na kanisa lako Yesu tunaombea kanisa ya Bomet inua kanisa ya Bomet wafanye mashujaa wa imani wafanye mashujaa wa ijili Bwana inua kanisa la Bomet kama vile ulifanya kanisa la Mitume inua kanisa la Bomet Baba wacha wagonjwa waponywe na kanisa lako Baba inua wachungaji wasaidie bomen wainue bwana wape nguvu mpya leo 
kwa huu mkutano wa leo watoke hapa na revival watoke hapa na revival baba inua kanisa lako inua kanisa lako Yesu kanisa yako imeaibika kwa muda mrefu sikia vile walituuliza eti Yesu wenu wako wapi Yesu rudi kwa kanisa lako inua kanisa lako wasfanye mambo makubwa Yesu ukasema kwamba wale wanakuamini watafanya mambo makubwa kuliko yale ulifanya baba sisi ndio hao sisi ndio hao tuamushe leo kwa huu mkutano tuamushe leo sisi ndio Joel aliona Joel chapter 2 sisi ndio Joel aliona akaona jeshi ambalo linaruka ukuta ambalo limejazwa na roho ambalo linaona maono sisi ndio hiyo jeshi sisi ndio hiyo jeshi baba timiza hayo maandiko ya Joel hapa Bomet yes lord yes lord yes lord revive your church revive your church Danieli akaangalia akaona kanisa la Bomet akasema hao watamjua Mungu wao hao wa 2022 watamjua Mungu wao and they shall do exploits baba timiza hilo andiko hapa Bomet leo kwamba wachungaji na washirika wao watafanya maajabu watakuwa kama wewe wataleka jia mahali hakuna jia wataomba uponyaji utakuja wainue Waheshimiwe, wainue, wainue, warejeshe, 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 wakue kama wewe. Wacha wachungaji wakiongea, itakuwa kama ni wewe umeongea. Utafuata maneno yao kuyatimiza. Tunatangaza mwanzo mpya wa kanisa la Bomet, wa kanisa la Bomet. Yes in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ya mwisho simwambie Bwana nitumie mimi. Nitumie mimi kufanya kazi yako. Nikitoka kwa huu mkutano ninaenda kuongea kuhusu wewe kwa kila mtu ambaye nitakutana na yeye. Baba nitumie mimi kwa roho wako kwa roho wako kwa nguvu zako kuanzia huu mkutano anza kunitumia anza kunitumia hii mikono yangu niwekere wagonjwa wagonjwa wa pone nikiomba maombi yangu yatimie anza kunitumia kwa huu mkutano bwana nimejipeana kwako if you can use anything lord you can use me you can use me Simwambie Bwana unasema who shall I send Simwambie send me to Bomet send me to my family send me send me to my village send me to the country send me Lord Simwambie unitume Bwana unitume nitaenda nitaenda kwa vijana nitaenda kwa wazee nitaenda sitakaa tu ndani ya kanisa nitaenda Yesu haukukaa ndani ya synagogue haukukaa huko ndani hapana Yesu haukukaa huko ulienda kwa kijiji hadi kijiji kingine nataka nikue kama wewe Bomet nataka nikue kama wewe Bomet nitumie nitumie Bwana nitaenda nimekubali si umwambie umekubali ndio akutumie kuleta revival ndio umwambie umekubali anasema ni mtume nani ni nani ataenda ni nani atakuwa barozi wangu ni nani atakuwa sauti yangu ni nani ataenda ni musaidie ni nani ataenda ni muvalishe nguo zangu ni nani ataenda ni mpake na upako wangu ni nani ataenda si umwambie nitaenda 
nitaenda mwambie kama Esther nitaenda mimi nitaenda mimi nitaenda nitaongea kukuhusu nitaongea kuhusu wewe wengine wakiongea kuhusu viongozi wengine na wanadamu nitaongea kuhusu Yesu nitaongea kuhusu Yesu thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord Si umalize kwa kutangaza ni roho wa Bwana pekee ako juu yangu. Ni roho wa Bwana pekee ako juu yangu. Ni roho wa Bwana pekee atakuwa juu yangu. Roho zingine zote mutoke kwangu, mutoke kwa mwili wangu. Maroho za magonjwa, maroho za mapepo mutoke Roho wa Bwana pekee ndiye atakuwa juu yangu. Mimi nimechukuliwa leo, mimi ni wa roho wa Bwana. Si utangaze maroho mengine yanaoretwa kwako, uziambie hamwezi nipata, hamwezi nipata, mdomo wangu hamutaupata, mikono yangu hamutaipata. Mimi ni wa roho wa Bwana. Mimi ni wa roho wa Bwana. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. He has anointed me. He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor, to set the captives free, to heal the broken hearted, and to declare a new beginning in Bomet. A new beginning in Bomet. Tumushukuru huyu Yesu. Tumushukuru Tumushukuru, tumwambie ni asante. Asante! Asante! We bless your holy name. We glorify your name. Itamuomba Bishop Ruth atusaidie hiyo ombi ingine moja. Alafu tutaendelea. Tumkaribishe mamu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watu wa Bamet Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya! Atumezaliwa upya. Glory to God. Tunaweza kukaa chini dakika kidogo. Niko na dakika kidogo sana. Sisi kama National Peace Prayer Caravan tumewaletea habari njema. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe good news for god's people na ndio maana tumekuja kusema kwamba amani imerudi sio bometi peke yake lift vari yote bwana asifiwe sana atupigie sumakofi haleluya nataka nisome isaiah chapter 9 na niko na habari nzuri But at the future time that is Isaiah chapter 9 verse 1 nasoma na is the English but at a future time everything will be better for the people who were not very happy bwana sisiwe sana in past years god let trouble happen to the people in the places called Bomet and uh, Lift Valley niyo ni Zebulon and Naphtali but in future years he will send glory to these places Bwana asifiwe sana the country by the sea the land at the other side of river Jordan Galilee where people from other countries live na naona kwamba Bomet ni Galilee Galili. Bwana asifiwe. Maana hapo ndio watu wa makabila mengi wanakaanga. Hallelujah. The people who walk in the dark will see a great light. The light will shine on those people who live on the land full of dark shadows. These dark shadows are bad memories. Ya watu ambao wamekufa Black, dark shadows ni mambo ambayo umeiona ikakuletea uchungu mwingi bwana asifiwe sana kuna mambo imetendeka miaka iliyopita 
kutoka 1992 kutoka 97 207 2013 am um, 2017 ambayo ni shadows hatungetaka kuyaona tena bwana asifiwe sana haleluya nimefika hapo aha verse 3 you the lord will make the country bigger and you will make its people much happier they will be happy with you as when people were happy in the harvest so just as also happy because of what they were won like uh, as they won the war aha ile furaha itarudi hapa ni kama wakati watu wametoa mazao kwa shamba tutupige Yesu makofi bwana asifiwe itakuwa ni kama wakati soldiers wameenda katika vita wakakuja na matokeo yao bwana asifiwe wakati wanakula mazuri itakuwa hivyo bwana Yesu apewe sifa aha verse four. and that is because as in the fight with Midian God will break kuna yokes Ah, ili amani ikuje hapa kuna nira lazima tuvunje bwana asifiwe sana yani kuna pahali tulijiingiza lazima tujitoe kama hatutajitoa maombi yetu haiwezi kufanya kazi bwana asifiwe sana the yoke that god is talking about hapa the yoke that carries the heavy weight that our enemies have put on us. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tumebeba mayokes ya witchcraft. Tuliingia kwa wachawi. Tuliingia katika viapo ambavyo hata saa hii hata tukitubu bado unasikia kuna nira imekufunga. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini tukivunja ah amani inakuja. Bwana asifiwe sana. The sticks that they hit us our backs. Let me say wakati nilikuwa nasoma, Bwana alikuwa ananiambia, tuliingizwa maneno ndani zetu na, wa, na wa politicians au watu wabaya ambao shetani anataka kutumia na hiyo maneno haijatoka ndani zetu. By the way, hiyo kuzunguka tumezunguka ni mejionea watu wa kila kabila bwana asifiwe na ile akili nilikuwa nao sababu unasikia tu wakarijini wakikuju karibu usipoingia in their community huwezi kuwajua bwana asifiwe tumejazwa mapropaganda against each other hizo nira tunavunja leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana asifiwe lazima zivunjike Bwana asifiwe aha verse five. then hiyo ndio tutafanya wakati tumetoka saa hii ambayo tunatoka saa hii what shall we do verse five. then they will burn as materials for the fire every boot that soldiers wore in battle kuna viatu tuliva tukaingia nyumba kwa nyumba na vita kuna viatu tuliva ya mdomo bwana asifiwe tukawaachilia mapropaganda ya uongo ikaleta vita hizo boots ah lazima tuweke ndani ya moto ambia mtu hiyo boots lazima ziwekwe ndani ya moto bwana asifiwe hiyo tunaweka then they will burn as materials for fire every boot of the soldiers wore in battle and they will burn the clothes with the blood on them eh bwana asifiwe sana tuliingia katika vita hata kama ulikuwa kwa nyumba hata kama wewe huku pigana ulipigana na mdomo 
ulipigana na akili bwana asifi na sio sisi watu wa bometi peke yetu kila mkenya lazima atoe viatu ya vita aingize kama matiriyo ya moto bwana asifi sana haleluya haleluya they will not do that because uh, they will do that why shall we do that verse 6 because a child is born a mtu a child is born hallelujah a son is given it bomet bwana sifiwe and that son will always have authority from now henceforth to rule bomet to rule kenya glory to god and the people will call him by his names bwana sifiwe wonderful counselor mighty god hallelujah the prince of peace and i'm on to- on, on his uh, authority his authority will become greater in bomet than any other authority from now Glory to God. We declare the authority of the son of God who become greater in Kenya than any other authority. We declare the authority of the son of God who become greater than witchcraft than the authority of our politicians. Hallelujah and the peace that will bring and the peace that he will bring here in Bomet here in Kenya will never have an end tell somebody the kind of peace we are receiving this time of revival mambie mtu the kind of peace we are receiving this time of revival which is coming from the prince of peace who never have an end hallelujah he will be the king over the land of kenya ha, that david ruled bwana asifiwe he will make it safe he will make our country safe hallelujah he will make sure that there is justice and its people will be very good not now but forever and the lord of all armies who caused these things to happen why because he loves his people to pick us my coffee as we stand up let's all stand up where we are i want to read you peace cannot come until it starts in your heart Bwana asifiwe sana. Tutaenda mbele za Mungu. Si wewe unajua ile mambo ulisema na umekuwa ukisema. Bwana asifiwe, ujipeleke mwenyewe, ukate nira ya mambo ambo ulihusika. Maybe ulihusika kwa mdomo, ukahusika kwa kwa kwa, kwa kufikiria ukahusika physically na kuna wale tumeingia katika viapo tukaingia viapo na wachawi tukaingia viwapo ili tuweze kumiliki selfishness simama bere za bwana uinue mikono yako ujipeleke bere za bwana ili amani irudi ndani yako umeona hapa watu wamejinyonga wengi sababu ya kukosa amani kuna watoto wetu wengi wamekufa Sijaambiwa na mtu lakini nimesikia ndani ya roho yangu hapa kumekuwa na roho ya suicide. Ni sababu ni mambo tuliona na ni mambo tulitenda inatuletea kukosa amani na ukikosa amani unachukua roho yako. Inua tu mikono yako. Enda bere za Bwana kama mkenya, kama mbomet, kama Murifti Valley ukatubu dhambi za mdamu ambao imemwagika hapa ili bwana wa amani 
atuletea amani baba tunakili dhambi zetu hakuna mkenya hata moja anaweza kusimama mbele zako akasema hakuhusika tulihusika sisi wote tunaomba ukatusamehe samehe bwana tusamehe tumemwaga damu tusamehe tusamehe tulipanga watu wauliwe tulifikiria vile tungeua tulisema ni vyema kabila fulani ikufe tukasimama tukasherekea tulipoona kabila hii inaumia tunapiga sisi tusamehe 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 Bwana ili amani irudi Kenya Oh God Oh my father Oh Lord forgive us Tusamehe Bwana damu ambayo inalia Kenya inaitisha kulipishiwa makarara baba baba zeria mera baba baganda reka baganda bashanda liazekete oh god have mercy we list the masses of god upon our country we list the masses of god upon bomet we list the masses of god upon lefty valley we list the masses of god upon every county tusamehe bwana tusamehe tusamehe ili tuwe na amani tunatubu dhambi zetu sababu ya makabila zetu wa leaders wetu ambao walituingiza katika chuki tunaomba ukawasamehe in the name of Jesus tunakata nira from witchcraft we destroy every bondage every connection we destroy it in the name of Jesus Tulingia katika maagano katika kabila zetu tukasema hii kabila na hii ingine haitakaa ndani yetu sisi kama kanisa la Kristo tunasimama mbele zako kwa ajili ya nchi yetu hiyo maagano yote tunavunja tunaharibu in the name of Jesus Karibu ya marakaba rekabaganda remashanda rokoboyanda likabaganda bashanda irazeria tumekunywa mpaka damu tumekunywa damu ya wanyama tukakunywa damu ya watu tukaweka viapo baba hatukujua tunaomba turehemu turehemu kama wa Kenya turehemu kama watu wa Bomet turehemu turehemu kama kanisa hata sisi kanisa tulikuacha tukaingia katika maagano ya tradition makarababa marababa maroko bozaya rekabaganda likazeka bagana oh god tunakata nira ya tradition tunakata nira ya ukabila tunakata nira ya, ma, ya selfishness tunakata and we welcome you lord jesus the prince of peace to come and indwell our hearts tuna mairabo saragaraga makorobo zaria ganda mariabo seta magalia rekama mama zeria roko maria zeke jehova imasara baboria imasara ganda imasari abokaya likama ganda bashanda liazoma keria masoro 
we welcome you, Holy Spirit, uh, to cleanse us, uh, cleanse our minds, uh, cleanse our hearts, uh, cleanse our hands. Ata mikono yetu michafu, tunaweka damu ya Kristo. Oh God, akiri zetu chafu, roho zetu chafu, tunaomba musamba hawako. Cleanse us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Karibisha Yesu kwa familia yako. Vijana wako walihusika. Watoto wako walihusika. Muke wako alihusika. Watu wenu walihusika. Kabira lako lihusika. Kama mkenya. Simamia kabira lako. Simamia familia yako. Ukatubu. Ukatubu kwa ajili yako mwenyewe. Iri buwana wa mani. Ashuke Kenya. Buwana wa mani. Mfalme wa mani. Tunakualika Kenya. Ukatawale. Tawara bababa yetu. Tawara kwa damu yako. Tunakukalibisha. Asante mungu wetu. Kwa jina la Yesu tuwaomba ata kuamene. Tupigia Yesu mako. Pigia Yesu mako. Pigia again. Ebu, ebu inama, chukua izo viatu viyako, vya vita. Weka kwa moto. Chukua tu kama unachukua viatu. Chukua weka kwa moto. Nguo zako ambao zilizja damu. Towa uweke kwa moto. Hallelujah. Shika mtu mkono. Kama mkenya, mwambia wewe ni ndugu yangu. Tutapendana. Tunakata nila ya politician. Sema hivyo, tunakata nila ya politician. Tunakata nila za wachawi. Tunakata nila za maagano tulingia ya damu. Tunakata in the name of Jesus. Asa inuwa mikono yako. Kalibisha the prince of peace. Mukalibishe. Aka ingie ndani yako. Aka ingie bometa. Aka ingie Kenya. Mfalme wa mani. Yesu. Yesu. Tunakuita. Karibu Kenya. Karibu bometa. Karibu kwa familia zetu. Karibu kwa watoto wetu. Tawala. Tupigie ni mfalme wa mani makofi. Pigie mfalme. Mfalme wa falme. Wa polisi. Pigie ni mfalme wa wafalme makofi. Sisi wote tushangirie. Mfalme wa wafalme. Sulipatia daka moja. Tuombe ombi la mwisho. Kaa chini. Ombi moja tu. Tunaombea effective leaders in Bomet. Hallelujah. Suambie mtu leader mzuri. Sio yule anaongeanga sana. Suambie mtu hivu. Uyo sio leader mzuri. Leader mzuri. Sio mtoto yako. Au kabira yako. Bwana sifi. Suambie mtu lida mzuri si kabira yako. Bwana sifi sana. Unajua sisi tumekamatua na tribalism. Sisi wote. Kama kuna kitu tutavunja. Ili bwana akatupatie effective leaders ni ukabira. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Yani mtu anachaguliwe na mnajua ni muizi. Au ni, mu, ni, ni, ni gride. Au huyo mtu munajua ata kabila yako hawezi kusaidia. Lakini sababu anaongea language yako unamchagua. Iyo pepo kama kanisa tunavunja kwa jina la Yesu Christo. Mina taa kusema tukuna leaders wawiri. Saulu na David. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe, ata kama wote walikuwa wakabira moja. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kuna yule alichaguliwa na watu. 
na kuna yule alichaguliwa na Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Daudi hata hakuwa na jina, mimi nataka mchague governor na senator na MP na mtu uh, uh, MCA na wale wengine women watu ambaye hana jina lakini amechaguliwa na Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Inawezekana hata ako independent. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na hajulikani hata hapendeki na watu wale wengine lakini mnaona track record yake atasaidia Bomet. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tuangalie matendo. Tusiangalie pale mtu ametoka. Tuko na watu wawili ambao wanaitwa the two horses. Ambia mtu farasi wawili. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. The Bible says you can prepare the horses. Eh? Mambia horse yenu unaanza ku prepare yenu. Na wewe u prepare horse hiyo ingine. But the Bible says victory comes from the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tutaenda kuomba kwamba yule mtu Mungu na uomba, kama hutaka kuomba hivyo wewe kaa hivyo lakini omba hivi leo yule mtu maana ni Mungu anaangalia nyoyo zetu yule mtu bwana umechagua huyo ndio atakuwa president wa Kenya haleluya sisi sio wa kalejin sio sio wa kikuyu we are heavenians so mbie mtu we are heavenians Bwana asifiwe. Sisi ni kanisa. Hebu nimaliza nasema hivi. Kuna wakati tume uh, vitu vyetu vilichukuliwa na polisi. Sababu tumepiga tume kelele sana. Tulipofika pale police station, watu tulikuwa tumeletwa na watu wametustaki. Polisi eh, akaniambia akaniambia sisi tunasimamia raia. Hatusimamii kanisa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo kuna raia na kuna kanisa tuambie mtu mimi si raia mimi ni kanisa Bwana asifiwe na tutasimama kama kanisa la Kristo Kenya tuite Mungu wetu wa binguni ambaye hana kabila ndani yake atuchagulie mfalme hebu tusimame wewe simama kama heavenian salimia ma heavenian kama watano waambie this time tunasimama kama heavenians Ambia somebody we are standing as a vene. Inu watu mikono yako tuombe. Father in the name of Jesus. This is our prayer. Tuchagulie leaders amba wakona moyo wako na wakona moyo ya wa Kenya. Just pray, to, just take a minute. Father, we ask of you. Wewe ambaye unajua roho zetu. Tunakuomba mungu wetu. Tuchagulie. Wale wewe umechagua. Open the eyes of our understanding as Kenyans. Iri kila county. This time, tukachague kulingana na mapenzi yako. Tunamini kwamba maombi yetu umesikia. Maana tumetu na umeponya inchi yetu na utatupatia leaders sio kwa hasira zako lakini kwa rehema na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo twaomba na kuamini pigia Yesu makofi god bless you amen ukiwa tu umesimama hivyo shangilia Yesu sema tumepona tumesamehewa katika jina la Yesu amen a, naomba tuweze kujitayarisha kwa kupokea neno la Bwana. Na neno la Bwana is the most important part of the meeting. Si ni kweli? Hata mkutano ya rais hiyo ndio inakuwa kilele wakati rais wetu anaongea. Kiongozi wa huu mkutano ni Mungu mwenyewe. Na Mungu ametuma his servant. When you receive the word of his servant, sasa wewe ndio ulikuja kwa mkutano. Amen. Nataka ukisimama hivyo tuweke mikono yetu pamoja tukalibishe a pastor mwambili to come and bring to us the word of the Lord in Jesus name. Tushangilie Yesu mtumishi wa Bwana anapofika. We bless you Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Welcome son. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe sana.
Uh, tukiwa tunaendelea kusimama mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu, ningalipenda kumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya neema na fadhili zake ambazo anaziachilia juu ya maisha yetu siku ya leo. Uh, God's purposes will stand. Uh, na shukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya viongozi wa kutoka kwa county government na wale ambao wana represent uh, governor hapa siku ya leo. Na shukuru Mungu kwa ofisi ya CC wetu ambaye alizungumza nasi hapo awali and we want to appreciate God for everyone ambao wamekuja kutoka kwa administration and ngalipenda tuinue mikono yetu tushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya serikali yetu both county and national government if you can just lift up your hands just for a moment and thank God for them thank God for the grace the blessing the favor the goodness that God has continued to show us in this time thank God for every individual amongst them Thank God for his favor and his continuous blessing to give them wisdom and grace and direction to give them capacity to fulfill their destiny in this time to empower the people to give strength to this nation to fulfill the vision that God has for us in this time shukuru mungu kwa ajili ya neema yake ambao amachilia juu ya viongozi wetu katika majira haya na kwa ajili ya unyenyekevu wao wa kuja kuwa pamoja nasi katika mkutano huu just thank god for them and bless the name of the lord jesus christ we give you thanks lord and we honor you and we celebrate your name today in jesus name mtu ampigie bwana wetu yesu kristo makofi mazuri yeah so we are thankful we are grateful uh, for all the powerful words ambazo tumezipokea of course tumekuwa pamoja na National Prayer Committee tukiwa katika hii Peace Prayer Caravan and vile chairman wetu Bishop Jesse Ereri alivyotangaza hapo awali ya kwamba tumetembea county 41 hii ni county yetu ya 42 na tunamshukuru Mungu kwa maana amezidi kutupatia neema na uwezo na tunamaliza safari hii ya barabara tukifika county ya 43 ambao ni Naro County alafu county nyingine nne tutakwenda kwa hewa tukitangaza Yesu ni bwana na nitaki kusema ya kwamba as soon as i'm done with sharing the word tutaingia katika ibada ya ku dedicate hii county 036 county here bomet county tukitangaza ya kwamba bwana yesu ni bwana amani ya mungu inatawala mahali hapa na mpango wa mungu utapata kukamilika jinsi vile mungu amekusudia ya kwamba hakuna mpango wowote wa mvu shetani ambao amejaribu kupanga dhidi ya county hii ambayo itapata kufauli kama kuna mtu anaamini hivyo sema amen so tukisha nena neno la mungu tutapata kumkaribisha director wetu apostle John Kimani William na ningalipenda tushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya viongozi wetu katika peace prayer caravan hii kama unaweza kuinua mikono yako juu tafadhali mpigie bwana wetu Yesu Kristo makofi mshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya neema na fadhili zake ambazo zimekuwa pamoja nasi na pamoja na viongozi wetu uh, katika safari ama msafara huu katika jina la Yesu Kristo ningalipenda tusimame tu kisoma neno la Mungu na soma katika kitabu cha Philippians chapter 4 uh, verse 6 and 7 Uh, andiko ambalo linafahamika sana na naamini kwamba Mungu anakwenda kutusaidia Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 inasema be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of god which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through christ jesus galipenda tuzungumze tu for a few moments on thanksgiving the game changer mwambie jirani yako thanksgiving the game changer shukrani inaleta mabadiliko you can take your seat in the presence of god Ah ningalipenda kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya neema yake uh, katika majira haya. Uh, Paulo ambaye anazungumza maneno haya katika kitabu hiki cha Wafilipo alikuwa ni mfungwa. Haitaji hivyo katika kitabu cha Wafilipi that alikuwa in prison lakini ukisoma theolojia unapata kuelewa kwamba akiwa ana encourage watu ana encourage akiwa gerezani but he had understood it's not the environment that dictated what happened to him it was the atmosphere ambayo anai create mwenyewe through faith 
in the name of the Lord. Na akawa ni mtu ambaye amekuwa a great inspiration akiandika maandiko 13 epistles ambazo zime set forth a pattern ya kuinua kanisa katika majira haya irrespective of the circumstance ambao ye mwenyewe binafsi alikuwa anapitia kwa sababu paulo alijifunza the secret of thanksgiving ali change atmosphere na aka fulfill ile destiny ama hatima yake ya kuwa wa baraka kwa kizazi chake na vizazi ambavyo vinavyokuja nimekuja kunena hapa ya kwamba tukiwa na mioyo yenye shukrani our lives will recreate another atmosphere so that every individual amongst us tutapata ku fulfill ile destiny ambao Mungu yuko nao kwa ajili yetu. Paul anasema ya kwamba add thanksgiving to your prayers, to your supplications and your requests. Na ukifanya hivyo the peace of God that passes all understanding shall guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Tunapata kutangaza ya kwamba we want the peace of God. We want to see the grace of God. We want to see the favor of God. But nikalipenda kukuatangazia according to this scripture it begins at the place of thanks giving. Ya kwamba unapumshukuru Mungu for what he has done, where he has placed you, what he has given you, vi power ambavyo Mungu amepata kukupatia, then you receive his peace so that you can fulfill your destiny. Wangati hapa ningalipenda kufulfill your destiny. Ningalipenda kukamilisha kile kitu ambacho Mungu amekusudia kwa maisha yako. Just lift up your hand and wave. I want you to understand that God has a good plan for your life. God has a good plan for the county of Bomet. Biblia inasema katika Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, God says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to give you good things, to give you hope, to give you a future. Plans to give you peace. They are not plans for evil, but they are plans to secure you and to bless you and to prosper you. And all these are plans that God has for our lives. But I'm here to say that thanksgiving ni funguo ambayo itakufungulia every good thing that God has for you in this particular time and season. Katika Acts chapter 17 verse 26, Biblia inasema ya kwamba kupitia kwa damu moja ama kupitia kwa mwana damu moja, Mungu aliumba kila mtu na akakusudia na akafanya uamuzi tangu hapo awali pale ambapo kila mmoja wetu ataishi na ni nyakati gani tutakazoziishi katika lugha ya kimombo he predestined us he determined before time where you would be born and which times you would live in other words Sio kimakosa ama kimaksudi ama kwa bahati ya kwamba wewe uko hapa bomet wakati huu na ndugu yako yuko hapa bomet wakati huu God predestined it Katika hizi boundaries za Kenya tuna makabila karibu 47 depending on which school of thought ambayo unaifuatilia ku define hizo tribes and all these tribes Mungu alikusudia ya kwamba tutaishi within the boundaries ya hii taifa linaloishi naitwa Kenya katika majira haya. And it is not an accident, it is the will of God. Ndiposa tumekuja kutangaza ile kasumba ya muovu shetani Yesu Kristo. Because God's purpose is we all be here to let a vile vipawa na gifts na graces ambazo ametutunukia sisi so that we can benefit one another and be a blessing one to another. Lakini shetani angalipenda kututenganisha, kutugombanisha na kuleta vurugu katika tie yetu. Lakini tunatangaza katika jina la Yesu Kristo ya kwamba mwaka huu 2022 shetani hatafaulu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. We declare in the name of the Lord that only God's purposes shall be manifested in the land of Kenya. Ndiposa tumekuja pamoja tuunganike na tutangaze may God's grace and favor and hand be upon our lives and be upon our counties. Na kama unamini hivyo sema, Amen. 
So God's purpose for all of us ni ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu tuweze tukaleta contribution yetu wherever he has planted us. Katika mwaka huu wa 2022 Mungu alijua kwamba sote tutakuwa tuko hai wakati huu na tutakuwa katika Kenya hii majira haya. Na Mungu ametupatia different gifts ambazo tunaziita prophetic graces ama zina determine our prophetic destiny. Uh, individually kila moja ana purpose yake lakini corporately uh, Mungu pia ametupatia vipawa hata kama makabila fulani and that's why utakuta ya kwamba ukienda kwa kabila fulani kuna gifts na graces ukija hapa Rift Valley tumetembea hapa Bomet tumekandi na ni sehemu zingine ambazo zinajulikana to raise major champions ambao tumewasherekea katika marathons katika olympics na katika athletics and we celebrate god for that gift ambao mungu ametupatia inainua taifa in that particular place tumekuwa sehemu za nyanza ambao pa square kilometer kuna sehemu ambazo zinatuproducea the greatest number of engineers and doctors na ma professor na watu ambao wanafanya masomo makali makali uh, because kuna neema fulani ambao mungu amewachilia katika sehemu hiyo ambao ina contribute to the national wellness ili tuweze tukasonga mbele tumekuwa sehemu za central kenya pahali kule kuna wale ambao wanafanya biashara popote mwanapokwenda wanapenda kufanya biashara kufanya different types of investments na mambo kama yale so kuna particular gifts ambazo Mungu ameziweka in different people amongst us na akatuweka kama a covenant of nationhood na tumekuja kutangaza siku ya leo kwamba as we have been brought together by god may we be thankful that god in his wisdom he has chosen that you and i should live at such a time within the boundaries where it is inaitu a kenya ambao imebariki na climate ya ajabu within kenya utapata barafu utapata desert climate utapata kuna mito utapata kuna bahari utapata kuna mahali ambapo kuna baridi ambapo wanakuza chai mahali pa kahawa mahali pa coconuts cashew nuts i mean it is a blessed country na tunapaswa kumshukuru Mungu ya kwamba Mungu ametuweka hapa wengi wanatamani kuja Kenya najua kuna watu wanasema mimi nitapata green card niende marekani lakini nikitangaza vile nikitizama jinsi Mungu ametubariki taifa hii maombi yangu ni kwamba majira haya unabii upate kutimia kulingana na taifa la Kenya ya kwamba watu watatafuta blue cards wakuje kuishi hapa Kenya because tumekuza taifa na tumelinua taifa na baraka ya Mungu inaonekana katika kila sehemu ya taifa letu la Kenya ni wangapi wanaamini Kenya imebarikiwa haleluya So ni baraka jamani ya kwamba Mungu ametuweka mahali hapa. Na ninawaomba na ninawasihi katika jina la Yesu Kristo ya kwamba siku ya leo tupate kufanya uamuzi ya kwamba I will be thankful for what God has done for where God has planted me. I will be thankful for my brother, for my sister. I will be thankful for those that God has placed within my geographical location because Mungu mumba wa mbingu na inchi, he knows and he has placed every one of us ili tuweze tuka benefit one another. Na tukiwa na hiyo attitude ya thanksgiving it will change the trajectory of our nation. Taifa hili litapata kuona ufanisi ambao hauna kifani kwa sababu haya ni majira mapya, haya ni majira ya baraka, haya ni majira ya restoration na revival. Na kama kanisa tunaomba tukiamini ya kwamba Bwana atanyosha mkono wake juu ya taifa la Kenya so that god's purposes will be established in this particular time and season ningalipenda tuombe pamoja as we conclude together lakini tunapoomba ningalipenda tuelewe jambo moja ni kwamba thanksgiving is a key but lack of thanksgiving makes us misunderstand the purposes of god Uh, nitasema hivi kulingana na maandiko ukiangalia Biblia utakuta kwamba Yesu Kristo alitufundisha mambo kadha wa kadha. Number one, alitufunza ya kwamba maombi ya shukrani huwa yanavunja mipaka. Ukianza kushukuru ukisoma katika kitabu cha Yohana mlango wa tano, unakuta kwamba wakati kulikuwa na shida ya chakula, watu walikuwa kwenye jangwa hawana chakula 
na hakuna chakula cha kutosha Kristo alichukua mkate ama mikate mitano na samaki wawili Biblia inasema kwamba akawamega baada ya kusema Bwana na kushukuru inao tumkoro wako useme Bwana na kushukuru in other words ukiwa na limitation ukiwa umekosa tafadhali inua mkono yako useme bwana na kushukuru in that place ambao unasema bwana na kushukuru unampatia mungu fursa atende miujiza ya multiplication na natangaza katika jina la Yesu Kristo may there be multiplication in your life as you begin to give him thanks in Jesus name Biblia inasema katika John chapter 11 wakati alipofika pale ambapo Lazaro alikuwa amezikwa siku nne na watu walikuwa wamelia wanajua kwamba wamepoteza mtu ameshakufa na ye Kristo amechelewa amekuja too late alipofika pale Biblia inasema kwamba alisimama kando ya ile germin ile uh, kaburi ya Lazaro na akainua sauti yake akatangaza akasema bwana na kushukuru kwa sababu unanisikia na because he gave thanks biblia inasema kwamba the next thing he said was lazarus come forth in other words kuna vitu ambavyo vimezikwa wengine wetu hapa kuna dreams kuna visions kuna vitu ambavyo umekuwa ukitumaini vitafanyika na labda unajiangalia unajitizama unaona maybe it is too late maybe i'm too old to get married maybe i'm too old to get children maybe i'm too old to succeed in business tumekuja hapa pia kukutangazia it's never too late to succeed when thanksgiving is engaged So siku ya leo ninakuomba inua tu mkono wako juu sema baba na kushukuru. Na kushukuru kwa kuniinua. Na kukushukuru kwa kunibariki. Na kushukuru kwa kunifungulia milango. Na kukushukuru kwa sababu sijachelewa. Baraka zitaachiliwa juu ya maisha yangu. So the moment he gave thanks kile ambacho kilikuwa kinaonekana kimechelewa kilipata kutimia na kilikuja in a greater marvelous measure na ningalipenda kusema ya kwamba Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu haleluya it is so important for us to learn to give thanks to God and to live a life of thanks giving nimeona watu wengi ambao tumekuwa tukishirikiana na wao i've been praying for many people in the cause of time kama mchungaji and one of the type of people ambao nimepata so many testimonies ni watu ambao wamesubiri mungu kwa ajili ya uh, fruits of the womb na kuna watu ambao maybe wameambiwa daktari you will never have a baby uh, because maybe kuna shida ya tumbo la uzazi maybe kuna shida ya fallopian tubes maybe kuna shida ya mwanaume mwenyewe because it is 50-50 unajua wakati mwingine kukiwa na shida ya namna hiyo wanaume ndio wanasema shida iko pale but shida inaweza ikawa any place mwangalie jirani yako kwa haraka tu hata kama ni mwanaume alafu usiseme chochote mwangalie tu alafu uendelee kuniangalia Hallelujah. Uh, so watu wanapenda kulalami kulaumiana sana. Lakini kitu kimoja nimejikunza ni kwamba when people begin to thank God and to rest in God, God comes through. Uh, kuna mama moja ambaye alikuwa amefika miaka hamsini na tatu kule Nairobi na in the moments of giving thanks alikuwa ameolewa for 31 years Mungu akawatembelea na akawabariki na mapacha watatu at one particular time uh, and god showed himself strong because god is never too late your testimony is still going to come your blessing is still going to manifest mimi mwenyewe ninawazungumzia hivi nimetumoana for 25 years na for the first 12 years of our marriage hatukuwa na watoto but i discovered the place of thanksgiving and by the grace of god we are blessed with four wonderful children to the glory of god because ni baraka ukielewa ya kwamba Mungu atakuja. Tunakuja kutangazia hapa Bomet God will come through for you. God will visit this county. Hata hapa Kenya God will come through for us. Let nobody become desperate because of the current situation. Mungu yule tunayemtegemea is more than able to do beyond what we could think or ask or even imagine. May we dare to give him thanks and to praise him and we will see the game changing in Jesus name. Nilikuwa sehemu za pwani not a very long time ago 
uh, na nilikuwa kwa mkutano sikuwa nimeenda kuhubiri nilikuwa nimeenda kwa shughuli zingine so sunday ikanikuta kule na nikatafuta kanisa ili niweze nikaabudu and during the service uh, ilikuwa ni a deliverance church so niliketi tu katikati ya watu during the service nilikuwa tulikuwa na inua mikono tukiin tukiimba na kuabudu uh, kuna dada moja ambaye alinipita ali nilikuwa karibu na aisle ama pale wao wanapita and so dada moja akanipita na aliponipita nikasikia roho Mungu ameniambia huyu dada anahitaji maombi muombe na nikafikiria kwa mawazo sasa mimi niko katika kanisa la ugeni hii si protocol sawa sawa kujaribu kuombea mtu in the midst of what is going on right now uh, nilikuwa ninawaza mambo ya protocol na mambo mengine huyo dada akao amepita nikajikuta nikana kwamba an open opportune window inapita na ni kama ninakuwa disobedient to god so nikasema okay god haizuru wacha nijaribu nimfuate niweze nikamwombea cut the long story short uh, huyo mwanadada ambaye alikuwa amenipita alikuwa tayari ameanza kutoka kwenye gate ya kanisa so i had noted vile alikuwa amevaa so as i tried to move fast nikaona yuko karibu pale na malango uh, ya, ya kutoka kwenye gate ya kutoka kanisani and so i tried to wave her down kumuita kwa sababu nilikuwa najua akitoka atokome then i will remain in a place of disobedience kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa amenizungumzia niombe na yeye na sasa ametoka ametokomea out of the church na nimemkoa so i began to to to, to because I, could, i didn't know her name i don't know who it is so nikajaribu kupiga kelele nikawa nikana kana kama mtu amekonfuse kidogo na jaribu kupiga kelele kidogo but as i was doing that god was merciful uh, nguvu za Mungu zikashuka juu ya that lady akawa ameanguka just after the gate na ikawa kulikuwa ni kama a case of demon possession kwa sababu alianza kutupa tupa miguu and all that na watu ambao waaminiwa walikuwa naingia kanisani wakakuwa a bit concerned watu wakaanza ku it was a pentecostal church wale ambao wametoka pentecostal church watu wakaanza kufanya mambo kama yale watu wanagundua ni pepo so wakaanza ku kemea katika jina la Kristo shindwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo na mambo kama yale and as all that drama ilipokuwa inaendelea i got near and i was trying to say god now what do i do and mungu akaniambia katika moyo wangu what this lady needs to do is to give thanks to me and so nikaambia watu tafadhali let's just lead her in a thanksgiving so nika inama nika za kusema sema thank you jesus sema thank you jesus na alipoanza kusema thank you jesus uh, akawa huru alipo alipokuwa huru from whatever had gripped her akasema ya kwamba alikuwa amekuja kanisani siku ya hiyo sunday as a last resort alikuwa amekusudia ya kwamba that was her last day on the face of the earth akasema ya kwamba alikuwa ametayarisha kitanzi nyumbani kwake na alikuwa amechukua madawa mengi ili anywe afe lakini kabla ya kunywa yale madawa alafu ajiweke kitanzi ajinyonge akasema wacha niende kwa church ili niingie tu kidogo nione kama kuna solution kama sitapata solution basi nitarudi nifanye ile ambayo ninapaswa kufanya and so she came to the church wakati wa worship ile sauti ilikuwa inamsukuma kujua ikamsukuma so she decided she's going to actually fulfill what she wanted until that moment when we prayed I cut the long story short this lady record dedicated her life to god because tayari alikuwa alikuwa mcha mungu akarudi nyuma because of circumstances after her rededication to the lord ile milango ambao ilikuwa inamfanya atake kujinyonga ikafunguka zile baraka ambazo alikuwa anasifikiria ziko mbali god accelerated the communication i got is god blessed her beyond her wildest dreams why because alikusudia kumshukuru mungu na niko hapa kutangaza ya kwamba uko mahali hapa na the thing that will change your life and your destiny is you giving god thanks and magnifying his name kwa sababu itakusukuma into a dimension of victory like you have never known before. Na ndiposa tumekuja kutangaza county hii ya Bamet siku ya leo may we raise our hands and give God thanks and praise because something good is going to happen beginning to now in Jesus mighty name. Kama unaamini hivyo inua mikono yako mpigie bwana wetu Yesu Kristo makofi mazuri. As we conclude I want to give us a very quick picture 
of one of the victories ambao watu wa Mungu walipata kupata. Hadithi yenyewe inapatikana katika kitabu cha Exodus ama kitabu cha kutoka from verse um, 8 to 16. That's a story yenyewe. This is Exodus chapter 17 from about verse 8 to 16. Na Bible inasema wana wa Israeli walikuwa wametoka Misri and they were fighting their first battle. Ilikuwa ni vita vya kwanza. Na Mungu katika hekima yake he chose this battle to teach a picture of how thanksgiving can change the game plan. And so in the first battle that they are supposed to fight, Bible inasema kwamba Mungu akawapatia strategy ama kampa Musa strategy. And the strategy was Moses utapanda kwenye mlima na utainua mikono yako juu. Wewe Joshua utakaa hapa chini utapigana vita physically. Wakati Musa ameinua mikono yake juu, wewe Musa, wewe Joshua utapigana vita. Now I want us to understand this because it's very important. Uh, nimesoma Biblia nikagundua ya kwamba and it's true many times we talk about Moses alikuwa naomba which is true but in the actual Hebrew ukisoma katika uh, root ya hiyo action kuinua mikono was a prayer of thanksgiving katika Kibrania ni neno yada mwangalie jirani yako mwambie yada hiyo yada inamaanisha umeinua mikono yako juu kumwambia Mungu asante hilo neno yada ndiyo ambao aliitwa mzaliwa wa nne katika uzao wa Israel ama Yakob ambao alikuwa inaitwa Juda na huyu Juda ambaye pia ni tafsiri ya sifa na shukrani aliitwa hivyo na kutoka kwa huo uzao wa falme wakatoka na kukawa na watawala katika inchi ya Israeli kwa sababu mahali sifa na maombi ya shukrani yanapoinuliwa watu ambao wanatawala vema watatokelezea na niko hapa kusema ya kwamba wewe utatokelezea ili upate kutawala katika majira haya kupitia shukrani katika jina la Yesu Kristo kama unaamini sema amen and so Musa alipokuwa anainua mikono biblia inasema in that story and i'm trying to summarize it inasema alipoinua mikono yake Joshua alikuwa anashinda but every time his hands came down then Joshua was losing the principle behind it being thanksgiving will guarantee your victory na ningelipenda tusimame pamoja siku ya leo kwa sababu i want us to take some few moments and tell god thank you umeketi kando ya ndugu yako kando ya dada yako i want you to tell god thank you for them i wanted to tell god thank you ya kwamba tuko mahali hapa siku ya leo by divine providence kuna kile ambacho mungu amekusudia kutenda katika taifa letu na tunamshukuru ya kwamba kitafaulu ya kwamba mimi na wewe we will cooperate and collaborate with the will and the mind of god so that everything ambao mungu amekusudia kutenda itapata kutendeka in our times tafadhali simama kwa miguu yako ningalipenda tuchukue fursa hii mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu so that we can give him thanks mwambie Mungu asante sema kwa sauti tena asante we want to take time and thank god this victory ambao walipata wana wa Israeli Musa alinua mikono yake juu today i have come to give you a strategy of thanksgiving Because kitu ambacho kinaangusha watu wengi is when we are full of grumbling, we are full of complaining, ni kulalamika, ni kunungunika. Huyu amefanya hivi, huyu amechukua kama huyu angekuwa hapa, kama unge kwa file, ingekuwa ni vingine. And then we hate one another, we dismiss one another. Na daroliana moja kwa mwingine. Shetani mwovu ana weka chuki katika maisha yetu uh, because anakuonyesha kwamba your neighbor or your brother is the problem yet the devil himself is a problem ningalipenda tutangaze siku ya leo ya kwamba Bomet County haiwezi ikatutosha pamoja na shetani ni lazima moja atoke na sisi hatutoki ni shetani atakaye toka tunampiga teke katika jina la Yesu Kristo do we have a witness in this place And the way we're going to welcome God is to lift up our hands. Na tumwambie Mungu tunakushukuru kwa sababu wewe una mpango mwema kwa ajili yetu. 
Wewe Bwana unataka kututenda mema, kutuendeleza. Unataka kuboresha uchumi wa kaunti hii ya Bomet. Unataka kutuinulia viongozi kutoka MCAs, MPs, women rep, senator, governor ambao watapata kuwa wa baraka kwa kaunti hii. Ambao watainua wajane na wale ni maskini, ambao wata empower the weak, ambao wata empower the orphans. Tunaomba Bwana utukumbuke ya kwamba tunapokushukuru upate kuchukua kwa usukani katika kaunti hii we need you god more than ever before and we lift up our hands today knowing that thanksgiving will change the trajectory of this county and your purposes shall be established we give you the thanks and we give you the praise we welcome you here today we ask may you be glorified May you be exalted. Let this be a season of supernatural supply, of great visitations, of miracles and wonder-working power in our midst. Lord, may we experience the grace of God that, Lord, as we work with our hands, as we invest, as we love one another, that doors will open, that things that have been delayed, the spirit of postponement, and delay will be broken in Jesus name and that the miraculous grace of God will be released in this time in the name of Jesus you can lift up your hands and give him thanks even if you're joining us from online on the Facebook platform on YouTube on TV wherever you are if you can lift up your hands and tell God thank you for your mercy thank you for your grace thank you for your favor Thank you for the nation of Kenya. Thank you for the blessing you have released. Thank you for the prophetic word that you have released over the nation of Kenya. Kenya is a gospel lighthouse. Kenya is an influencer in the region. Kenya is a father nation. Kenya is a springboard of revival. Kenya is a place that is a hub of peace and we pray oh god that you would have your way in our lives we thank you we praise you we honor your name today blessed be the name of jesus oh god we give you thanks and we want to thank god together as we hold our hands kama unaweza kumshika ndugu yako kando yako mkono I want us to thank God for them. Thank God for their lives. Thank God because Mungu atamfungulia milango, atambariki. Biblia inasema kuhusu Job that when Job prayed for his friends, his own captivity was turned around. Na naamini ya kwamba unaposhukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya ndugu yako, hata hali yako yenyewe inakwenda kubadilika. Mungu anakwenda kutenda mambo ya ajabu in our lives. Just get a hold of somebody's hand in Jesus name. Let me just make a quick reference. Katika kitabu cha Matendo ya Mitume, sorry, kitabu cha Romans uh, chapter 1 from verse 20, it says that invisible qualities of God, his power, his grace, his grandeur are visible unto all. And that God intended that through this men would acknowledge him even through the creation and because of that that they would be drawn near to God but men ama wanadamu wakachagua that they would not acknowledge God or give him thanks and because man does not acknowledge or give God thanks his heart becomes darkened what is it the moment we are not thankful our hearts become darkened That's when the devil takes advantage of our lives. Lakini galipenda mtu aseme shetani hatachukua advantage over my life. I will be thankful. My heart will not be darkened. Satan shall not take privileges to sow seeds of hatred in my life in Jesus mighty name. So galipenda take a few moments and just thank god for your brother and your sister you may not know them or you, you, you may know them it's not no, that's not a big deal but i want to just to bless them i want to speak peace speak well say god may you favor them may you open doors for them may you increase them may you cause them to prosper may you cause them to expand may you f- cause their vision to be fulfilled may you do a new thing in their life may the love of god be shared abroad in their life may they have hope 
for the future. May you cause them, Lord, to live and fulfill their destiny. Just bless somebody today. Thank God for someone next to you today. That as they fulfill their destiny, you shall also fulfill yours. Because when they are blessed, you will inevitably be blessed. That is the mind of God. That is the will of God for every one of us. And that's why we are holding our hands together to declare, let the purposes of God be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We worship you. We celebrate your grace, your name, and we magnify your name forever. You deserve all the glory, the honor, the praise, the thanks, the dominion, all forever and ever. Thanksgiving belong unto you, O oh God, our King and our refuge and our strength. The peace of God, amani amungu ipitao ufahamu wote, iwe nawe sasa katika jina la Yesu Christo. Hallelujah. Nimesema hallelujah. You know, ilo neno peace, ni neno la kiyunani Greek, Irene. Mwambia jirani yako, Irene. Katika tafsiri ya kibrania ni neno shalom. Mwambia jirani yako, shalom. Hawa majina ukia tafsiri katika kiingereza ama kiswahili, it will come out because they are heavy words. It means peace, prosperity, health, wealth, welfare, well-being, well-fed, whole, complete, having nothing lacking, nothing missing, and nothing broken. We declare that over you, over Bomet, over Kenya in this season as we thank God and as we celebrate him. Somebody lift up your hands and give thanks to the Lord as we receive Apostle John Kimani William to the altar. Let's celebrate the Lord. Let's magnify him. Let's give praises to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Lord deserves all the glory to Napokwenda Kudedicate County. Amen. Amen. Let us celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ. We give you praise, our God. We love you. We love you. We love you. We magnify your holy name. Asante. Tumpigia mtumishu wa mungu apostol muambili makofi. Asante. Tunaweza kachini kwa dakika chache. Kwa sababu sasa tunaingia katika session yetu ya mwisho na ningependa kuchukua nafasi kuwasarimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo hamjambo. Nipungie mkono wako sema haleluya. Amen. Uh, nataka kushukuru kwa sababu ya kila moja wenu ambayo wamekuja katika mkutano huu. Na shukuru sana kwa sababu ya viongozi wa kanisa, the college of bishops, all the pastors Kwa sababu ya maandarizi ya mkutano huu, mungu wa bariki sana. Ta kushukuru pia kwa sababu ya Madam Beverly, uh, the county commissioner, Santi sana, the national government, imewakirishwa vizuri sana, hapa Bomet, thank you for the good work. Um, sisi kama national prayer committee, tunanyenyekea sana na kushukuru kwa mungu tupatia na fasi, Ya kuombea taifa retu. Na tunasema ya kwamba these prayers they are powered by the love that we have for the nation and the people of Kenya. Bwana sifuwe sana. Wangapi wanapenda inchi hii? Asante. Tunafanya hivo. Sio kwa sababu tumepewa pesa na mtu. Sio kwa sababu tunasimamia mwana siyasa eote. Najua kuna watu wakiangalia mambo kama haya. Wanauliza na hawa wako pande gani Sisi tuko upande wa mungu Tuko upande wa taifa retu Na tunasema Kenya iwe na amani Na Kenya iendele kufanikiwa Na kama vile aposo muambiri ametuongoza katika shukurani uh, Mi na shukuru sana pia kwa sababu This is our last day Ya kuenda counties by Lord This is our 42 county Tutaenda Narok County number 43, katika msafara wetu, tutamaliza county zote 43, and then county ine, tutafanya na ndege, na watu wataenda kule kesho, na ndege tofauti, waweze kufanya dedication ya county ine. Situsherekee buwana, tunapomaliza hii siku ya mwisho, 
tulianza tarehe tisa kule Nairobi na leo tunamalizia hapa Bomet na Narrow County. Si ndio mkono wako mwambie Lord thank you for the protection. Thank you for the grace. Wiki tatu barabara barani sio kazi rahisi lakini Mungu ametupatia neema. Tunampa sifa, heshima na utukufu zote ni zake. Na pia kama vile Apostle Mwambie ametuongoza Shukurani ni ya muhimu kwa sababu Mungu alipanga maisha yako akaona mwisho akiwa mwanzo. Amekupangia kila kitu. The Bible says that God has given us everything that we need for life and for godliness. Already sio wakati Mungu anakupangia vile atakubariki, vile atakuinua. Tiari wakati ulipozaliwa Mungu akasema Joshua kabla hujaubika ndani ya tumbo ya mama yako na likuchagua na nikasema wewe utakuwa nabii katika mataifa kila kitu unachohitaji katika maisha haya tiari Mungu amekupangia ameona mwisho wako kutoka mwanzo na ndiposa ukiishi maisha ya shukurani Mungu ataendelea kufunulia maisha yako kama vile alivyopanga kutoka mwanzo kwa sababu yeye ni alfa na omega tukimshukuru kwa sababu ya taifa letu tiari kuna mambo yale Mungu amepanga kufanya kwa sababu ya taifa letu tunapoendelea na mioyo ya shukurani Mungu ataendelea kudhihirisha kila baraka kila ushindi kila nafasi moyo wa to cause all things uh, to work for good uh, for them that love him and they are called according to his purpose hata yale mambaya Mungu ako na uwezo wa kuyageuza yakawa baadaye mazuri kuna simba alitaka kumua Samson lakini baadaye Samson alitoa asali ndani ya ule simba hata yale mambo yalikuja kukumaliza Ukiendelea kumshukuru Mungu baadaye hayo mambo mabaya utatoa asali utatoa ushuhuda utatangaza ukuwa bwana utaambia watu ona vile bwana ametenda baada ya shida sasa naona matendo ya ukuwa bwana mshukuru ni bwana kila wakati enyi taifa la Kenya mpeni bwana sifa kwa sababu analipenda taifa letu bwana asifiwe sana sasa katika session ya mwisho we are going to dedicate the county of bomet to god dedication is important kama vile huwa tunapeleka watoto kanisani tunawa dedicate pengine tumenunua shamba tunataka kujenga nyumba ama baada ya nyumba kujenga tuna dedicate kwa mungu mungu ijapokuwa ni mkuu ameamua ya kwamba hata ingilia maisha yako paka umpatie nafasi Deuteronomy 30:19 the bible says today i call heaven and earth as witnesses and i said to you before life and death curses and blessings choose life that you may live mungu amekupatia uchague the highest heavens belongs to god the earth he has given to men sisi ndio tunaweza kuamua tutamwalika shetani ama tutamwalika Mungu hapa duniani kuna watu hualika shetani wanaalika mapepo wanainua madhabahu ya kishetani wanatoa makafara na wanamwambia shetani njo kama vile shetani alimwambia Yesu ninamie nikupatie hizi miliki na farme kuna watu mali yao cheo chao ni shetani wameinamia lakini sisi kama national Pre committee tunasema hatutamwinamia shetani na nchi yetu haitapatiana kwa shetani tuasimama hapa hata kutangaza wale wamefanya maagano na shetani na mapepo na taifa letu na uongozi wa taifa letu tunavunja hayo maagano shetani hana nafasi Kenya kama vile apostle mwambili ametuambia Hatuwezi kaa sisi wote hapa Kenya. Hatuwezi toshea wa Kenya na shetani lazima moja hame. Lakini Biblia inasema matendo ya mitume 17 mstari wa sita ni Mungu alipanga utazaliwa wakati gani na utazaliwa wapi. Na kwa sababu ni Mungu alipanga nizaliwe Kenya wakati kama huu ninasimama kumwambia shetani hatutakana wewe Kenya 
hii Kenya ni sisi tumepatiwa tunakufukuza ondoa giza ondoa umwagikaji wa damu ondoa uchawi ondoa madhabahu yako hata kama yaliinuliwa katika vizazi vingine tunatangaza katika kizazi chetu tutamtumikia Mungu wa mbinguni kama vile tunaimba wimbo wa taifa oh god of all creation bless this land and nation taifa la Kenya litabarikiwa na Mungu aliye ubabingu na nchi tunatangaza neno la Bwana miungu ambayo haikuumba bingu na nchi tunaiambia toka Kenya in the name of Jesus perish from the face of Kenya hauna nafasi tunasukuma giza iondoke Kenya tunasukuma mapepo yote ya umasikini ya magonjwa ya umwagikaji wa damu tunayasukuma toka Kenya hama hauna nafasi wingu rote la giza wingu la umwagikaji wa damu hapa Kenya hali na nafasi wingu la chuki hali na nafasi hatutakosana hatutainukiana hatutakatakatana mapanga tunakataa vikosi vyetu vya usalama hawatakuwa na kazi ngumu ya kuweka usalama kwa sababu hatutabatia shetani nafasi ondoka bometa katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nataka niwaambie mkiona tukizungua hizi kaunti zote ni kwa sababu tumejua isili moja shetani hana nguvu mpaka apatiwe nafasi hata ukiona mahali kule unasikianga ati nyumba inapigwa na mawe watu wanapika chai na wekwa mchanga waulize vizuri kuna kamlango kuna maagano na makubaliano na makafara kuna mali ya shetani wamechukua kwa sababu kuna sheria za kiroho ya kwamba shetani na Mungu hawawezi kuingilia maisha yako hapa duniani mpaka uwaalike ukialika shetani anakuja ukialika Mungu anakuja lakini wa Kenya wamechagua kumwalika Mungu tumezunguka kaunti zote tumemwalika Mungu na tunajua ya kwamba Mungu anatawara taifa la Kenya hakuna mtu amekusanya waganga na wachawi kama vile tumekutana kwa hivyo ile dhabiu tumetoa ni kubwa wachawi na waganga wanafanyanga vitu zao kwa siri siri sisi tumetokea wazi hey kwa mastadium tukitangaza Mungu wa mbinguni ndiye Mungu wetu Jehova ndiye atakaye tawara Kenya miungu mingine yote haina nafasi kama unakubalia na mimi sema haleluya wangapi wanasema tumwalike Mungu kaunti ya Bomet amen na hii ni jambo unaweza fanya hata kwako nyumbani ukijenga nyumba mpya there is no vacuum in the spirit realm lazima kuwe na roho moja either ya Mungu ama ya shetani ukinunua kaprot simama pale na useme hii prot ninaondoa roho zingine zote na alika roho wa Mungu atawale mahali hapa si unakumbuka mahali Jacob alilala ha Genesis praise the name of the living god akaona ngazi malaika wanapanda na kushuka na akaona shimo bingu iko wazi Mungu akamzungumzia hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa sili ya Abrahamu kumuinulia Mungu madhabahu na kualika uwepo wa Mungu hata malaika wanashuka wanaanza kuweka usalama kuna malaika wameanza kuweka usalama Kenya katika jina la Yesu Kristo hey there is a name from heaven that is being released in Kenya wacha kule ambapo kumejulikana ni hot spot hata Mungu anajua hot spot na huko hot spot kuna tumwa malaika wengi zaidi wakaweze kwenda pale na kulinda amani he 
kwa sababu kuna majeshi ya mbinguni simama na miguu yako tukamwalike huyu Mungu hapa Bomet County tukamwambie wewe Mungu wa mbinguni tunakupatia county yetu jo utawale utawala wako ni wa amani utawala wako ni wa ufanisi wewe ukitawala hata magonjwa yanaondoka umasikini unaondoka chuki naondoka ukabira unaondoka ufisadi unaondoka hazina nafasi hizo zote bali wewe ukitawara unainua wajane unainua mayatima unabariki na masikini unafungua na waliofungwa unatuunganisha tunakuwa taifa moja lenye upendo lenye undugu lenye amani he jo utaware Kenya Kenya haitatawaliwa na miungu mingine walioweka maagano na mapepo walioweka maagano na watu waliokufa walioita wachawi wakati wa uchaguzi tunasema hao wote tunavunja maagano yao tunavunja makubaliano yao haina nafasi Kenya Kenya ni Jehova atakaye tawara ni Mungu wa Abrahamu wa Isaka wa Israeli atakaye tawara huyo ndiye anajua kubariki huyo ndiye anajua kuinua huyo ndiye Mungu wa amani suinue mikono yako anza kumkaribisha mwambie Mungu wetu wewe ndiye tunakaribisha tunakataa miungu mingine tunakataa maroho mengine tunavunja maagano mengine tunaweka agano la amani agano la uzima leo tunaweka agano na Mungu wa mbinguni hapa Bometa tunaweka agano agano la amani agano la uzima tunavunja maagano walio mwaga damu hata wakatoa damu ya wanadamu wainue madhabahu waweke maagano na mapepo he hawatapata